Hello you guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the products I use for my hygiene, that is oral, skincare, everything. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna start with the oral and facial skincare hygiene. I do wash my hands before I put my hands in my mouth. So, so when I'm about to floss my teeth or whatever the case may be, I do go ahead and wash my hands before because, you know, don't put your hands in your mouth and they're dirty and they've been touching everything. to the side mm -hmm. first tip for oral hygiene for me at least i noticed that kid flossers like the ones you use on your children i noticed that they are made to get in between the teeth a lot better than the adult flosses that the adults use so i've been using the kid flosses because i have them for my daughter and i noticed a huge difference in the cleanliness between my teeth versus using an adult flosser because to be honest an adult flosser is a lot harder to maneuver um and I noticed that it just hurts. And I use the kid flosses and it feels fine, like it's perfect. So I went and grabbed a clean um, face towel because we are about to begin my face hygiene. This is the toothbrush. And yes, I have a protectant over my toothbrush while it's inside of a travel case. Leave me alone. This is the toothpaste that I use, which I am about to stop using toothpaste and I'm gonna try coconut oil because toothpaste is kind of bad for your teeth like fluoride is bad for your teeth and I just want to try something different um second tip so stop using mouthwash I do not use mouthwash anymore I used to use mouthwash a lot and I've noticed yeah I've noticed that it does wear on your teeth and this is the third tip for oral hygiene so use a tongue scraper after you finish everything brushing your teeth or whatever the case may be use a tongue scraper to get all of the gunk off of your tongue it does do wonders and it makes a difference in the smell in your mouth This is skincare hygiene. Make sure you guys are cleansing your faces at least for one minute. So 60 seconds. Make sure you guys are cleansing your skin for at least 60 seconds when you are cleansing your skin, when you're double cleansing, and make sure you're only double cleansing if needed. Another reason why I am cleansing my face before my shower is because you don't want to cleanse your face or brush your teeth while you're in the shower due to your shower head catching dirt and everything that's flung around in your shower as you wash. Um, so yeah, and yes, I do use a towel to pat my face dry. Whatever you use, it holds bacteria. So you can use a cotton round, a paper towel, it holds bacteria, sorry. shower i just like to go ahead and set the vibe turn on my music and i like to spray my shower with this aroma spray it is from walmart it's about five dollars and it is from the brand better homes <laughs> So right when we get in the shower, I'm going to go ahead and scrub and exfoliate. So I'm just going to go ahead and make sure I exfoliate. Here is tip number five, you guys. Make sure you guys are exfoliating the heels of your feet and in between your toes. It definitely makes a difference. You can feel the difference when you rub your toes together. Um, it definitely removes the dead skin. So make sure you guys are exfoliating your heels and between your toes. So 
this is the brand of razor I am using. It is from the brand Joy, and I am using Tree Hut's Shave Oil. This is tip number six, you guys. Get a shave oil, okay? Get a shave oil because shave oils are in right now, and I, I understand the hype, okay? I have been loving shave oils. Shave oil, it helps you get such a close shave. And I have I noticed, I don't usually cut myself anyways or get like razor burn, but I noticed since using a shave oil, I don't have any, like I have not had one razor burn, one cut, one anything since using shave oil. And also this razor, it, um, I guess Joy, you know, they work with Gillette because it says Gillette on the back. But this razor is only $10 and it comes with three cartridges. It comes with one attached and two extra. And to me for $10, that is a deal. So this is the soap I'm using. I use Irish Spring. I use Dove and Irish Spring, but right now I love using Irish Spring. I do use this to wash between the, my vaginal lips. You guys don't insert anything inside your vagina, okay? But you need to wash between those lips, okay? And whatever you prefer to use, this is what I prefer to use to wash between the lips of my vaginal area and I have not broken out from it I have not had any bad reactions to it I've been using this for years at this point you guys make sure you guys are washing between your toes okay I see a lot of hygiene routines on YouTube and I don't see nobody wash between their toes I'm not saying anything but I'm saying a lot okay start washing between your toes if you don't know now you know And this right here is the callus remover I got from Target. Me personally, I don't get a lot of callus and a lot of hard spots on the bottom of my feet or on the heels of my feet. But I still like to go over my feet. It's a nice little pamper step that I still like to do. Um, and I like to wait for my feet to get moist and um, get a little like soft. That way, you never want to scrape your feet when they're hard. You always want to soak them and make sure they are nice and soft. That way, when you go over them, it won't hurt. So here is tip number seven or eight. I can't remember which one we're on, but take exfoliating scrub, scrub under your arms. This helps with removing the deodorant residue. Um, if you use solid deodorant or whatever you use under your arms, it helps remove the residue because I don't know if you guys know this, but our shirts get stained when we wear deodorant and stuff like that so just go ahead and scrub your arms with some exfoliant rinse them off and then go in with your shave and it makes a really big difference like 
you can see it, I don't have any white residue under my arms <clears throat> after I shave. Um, so here is tip number eight. I found out which number we were on y'all Go ahead wash behind them ears. I don't see a lot of people washing behind their ears Washing behind your ears makes a difference because um, Washing behind your ears helps with dirt Also when you don't wash behind your ears dirt builds up back there Especially if you have a lot of piercings on your ears dirt builds up back there and it starts to smell back there And that is not attractive for your man Yeah, you guys, so that is the body wash that I'm using. I absolutely love that body wash. I got it from Family Dollar, and it smells so good, and it's hypoallergenic. Here is tip number nine, you guys. Make sure you guys are washing between your fingers. Your fingers hold a lot of dirt between them and a lot of dead skin, you know, callus. Wash and exfoliate your hands as you would do the rest of your body. Don't neglect any part of your body. This helps with... All right, you guys, this is tip number 10. Get some witch hazel, put it on a cotton round, and wipe in your inner thighs and on your butt crack and your anus, your armpits. This really helps and with after shaving. This is tip number 11. So I like to put oil in my body creams. Get some oil, put it in a body cream, and it will help your body cream last longer on your body, and it gives you more hydration. This is best to do this when you are fresh out of the shower. And this is tip number 12. Make sure you guys are air drying when you get out of the shower if you have the time. You don't want to rush and put underwear on or pants or whatever the case may be. You want to give your vagina time to air out. Because if you don't, it is cause for infections, especially yeast infections. So this is me doing my skincare after my shower. I'm just going to go ahead and put on some Laneige lip balm. I did find this at TJ Maxx. It was in a travel kit with a bunch of Laneige products. So I was so happy that I found this. And then I'm going to go ahead and go in with some serum that I found at Family Dollar. I found this collagen um, moisturizer at Family Dollar as well. And these have been my holy grail, y'all. Like, I can't believe I found this. And also, as a black girl, you need to keep your sunscreen on. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and rub it all together. So tip number 13, y'all. Make sure you guys are putting on 
sunscreen as a black woman as a black person you need to have sunscreen on our skin is the worst when it is in direct contact with the sun and make sure you guys are applying it to your necks not just your face but your necks as well And then I like to take some face mist and just lock all of those products in. That is the end of this routine, you guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you like the video. Let me know what you do in your routine. Or let me know if you found this video helpful or what you plan on incorporating into your routine. I like for my stuff to be informative and very helpful, you guys. So I will see you guys in the next video.